Okay, so first I'm taking some primer to my lid. And we're going to put that all over the lid. Okay, next I'm taking Naked Pigment by MAC. Which is this color here. It's just like a cream color. Um, it does have a little bit of gold running through it. And I'm going to take that underneath the brow bone. Just pressing it down. Okay, and then whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to sweep it down. Alright, next I'm taking a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to take a wedge by MAC. And I'm going to take that into the crease. Alright, next I'm taking um, Mystery, which is just a dark brown by MAC also. Color here, and I'm gonna take a blending brush. Um, this is a 217 also, but this is an old one, so you can see what, they, <laughs> what happens to them. Um, so I'm gonna take the that one, and then I'm gonna take it into the crease. But I'm going to take it um, with the brush this way so that it doesn't go up too far. Um, when I'm placing the color down. Okay, now I'm going to turn the brush. Alright, next I'm taking uh, Rest. And it's this is a NYX Jumbo Pencil. And it just looks like this. So I'm going to take that on the lid. Alright, and now I'm going to take um, this brush here, just to spread that around. And you don't want to take it into the, um, into your crease. Just concentrate it on the lid. Alright, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put a little bit more right here. Um, and this is going to help the um, bronze pigment to stick better. So I just put some on the brush. And I'm just patting it down. And then you want to make sure that you um, get it close to your, your lashes. Okay, next I'm taking this flat shader brush. And I'm taking this pigment here. I don't know the name of it. I do know that it's by Bella Pierre. So I'm going to take some of that. Just press it onto the brush. And then tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to press it down. Uh, that middle portion where we put the extra um, jumbo pencil. So I'm just going to press it down like that. Alright, and next I'm going to go back in with this brush. <clears throat> and I'm going in with this color by Bella Pierre. And this is called um, Jadu. So I'm going to put that on top of the, um, the rust color that's showing through. It's called rust, but it looks more like wine to me, so. And so I'm just going to 
press it down and then sweep it in towards the um, bronze color. And I'm going to go over into the crease with the shadow. The shadow isn't going to crease, that's why um, it's okay to go into the crease with it, but um, the jumbo pencils do um, tend to crease. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that uh, color on the brush and take it into the crease just a little bit. And over here I'm going to um, put it in the outer V. Grab a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and put just a little bit more of the gold, and I'm just going to spread out the gold a little bit. Um, it's not going to stick as much as it is in the center because it's on top of something of a sticky, sticky base. Um, so when you spread it over onto the wine color, um, it's not going to be as concentrated. Alright, next I'm taking um, just a regular black eyeliner and I'm just going to do a thin line. Okay, next just to make sure that the uh, breast pigment does stick on there. I'm just going to take a little bit of water on the back of my hand, just like that. And I'm going to take that same brush that I was using and just press, pick up some of the water. And then I'm going to press it into the rust pigment. I mean, not rust, bronze. And I'm just going to press that down. And try not to get it onto your black eyeliner. Alright, so next I'm going to um, curl my lashes, put mascara on, and then I'm going to put these um, lashes that I cut in half, and these are number 747. Um, and you can get these if you can't find, um, these were from the 99 cent store, but if you can't find them there, then you can, um, Red Cherry has the same exact lash, so just cut them in half. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using a really um, thick lash for this, just use something on the ends because then you're not going to be able to see the um, the bronze showing through. Right now I'm taking this brown eyeliner, um, and this is Avon Super Shock in bronze. So I'm just going to take that on the lower lash line. And this is a gel liner so it's really good to use um, on the waterline as well. Alright, and now I'm taking, um, yeah, Almost Famous, and it's just like a, it's almost the same color that I put on the highlight. Um, and this is going to go on the waterline, and this pencil is by Essence, and this is nice to use if you don't want to use like a white to open up your eyes. Um, and also I actually tried the one by Tarte and the one by Stila, and this one actually lasted a lot longer on the waterline. And this one's only like $2. Alright, so next on top of the, which I'm going to put a little bit more of that brown. Alright, so on top of the brown, I'm going to take the, um, the gold again, and I'm just going to take the tip of the brush like that. And I'm going to place that on top of the brown. Okay. okay. So next on the cheeks I'm taking a combination of this color here. This is Harmony by MAC. And I'm going to take this color which is Honor. But what I'm doing is I'm dipping into this one first. This is hard to do. <laughs> and then this one over here. And then just placing that on the cheek area. 
Okay, so here's the finished look on my lips. I used Stone Lip Liner by MAC. And on for the lip gloss, I used Lip Fusion Infatuation in the color In the Flesh. And that's it for the look. I hope you liked it.